It's Dick here again with today's Life App. I want to talk today about being led by vision instead of being led by circumstance. In other words, being principled in your leadership as opposed to circumstantial. That is, letting the circumstances dictate how you lead. I want to read a few quotes. Some of these are very interesting. Most of the significant things done in the world were done by persons who were either too busy or too sick. 90% of the work done in this country is done by people who do not feel well. Teddy Roosevelt, President of the United States, uh, said that. It's not doing the things we like to do, but doing the things we have to do that causes growth and makes us successful. John Luther said that. And uh, here's another one. Life is doing what you is not is doing what you want to do. It's doing not doing what you want to do. It's doing what you have to do. And uh, you know that's very true. Sometimes we want to do certain things just because, well, they're nice to do, but they're not necessarily what we need to be doing. You know, I want to just give you a contrast of that visionary, principled person or the person that is led by circumstance. And you know, again, it's a huge difference. Uh, the principled, visionary leader says, do right, then feel good. Well, the opposite would be, feel good, then do right. How often have you heard that? When I feel right, then I'll do it. Very often, it's the opposite that is required. Commitment is the driving force with the principled person, whereas convenience is the driving force with the emotionally, uh, circumstantially led person. There are principle-based decisions that that leader makes. Principle-based means these are right decisions for now. And they don't always mean they're popular, whereas the opposite to that would be a popular-based decision. Okay, what's the majority say? And unfortunately, dem democracy often has to work that way, but the reality is it's not always the best decision. Action controls attitude, whereas the opposite can be true for others, where the attitude actually dictates the type of actions taken. Uh, the principal leader or person will say, I, I will believe it, then see it. That is a visionary type person. I believe it, then I see it. And uh, if, actually, it's a biblical principle, isn't it? In faith, if you read Hebrews chapter 11. And whereas the opposite is see it, then I believe it. How many of you see that? Have you ever been to Missouri? It's called the show me state. If I see it, then I believe it. Uh, you know, the principled visionary person can create momentum. The others wait for momentum. One asks, what are my responsibility? The other says, what are my rights? Hey, isn't, you have heard that. <laughs> There's a lot of that in our society. How does this affect others is the question the principled person asks. The other says, how does this affect me? Uh, by the way, I, find, I believe the core sin of all humanity is selfishness, self-centeredness and selfishness. Every sin ever perpetrated by humanity, by man, is traced back to selfish. It's a selfish choice somewhere. The principal person will persevere while the other quits. They are steady while others are moody. They are leaders while others follow. You know, these are just a few principles. I believe I can extract them from Paul the Apostle's life, who says, I don't look back, but I press forward to the goal. Always moving forward and conducting himself with a forward-looking vision on the basis of principles, not on convenience. I believe that's what makes us successful in whatever we set our hand to. And that's today's Life App.